Hi guys, this is Tracy here with another Scraptastic layout. I'm using this sketch from Susan Stringfellow, uh, which is the July sketch for the Scraptastic Kit Club. And I'm just showing you where I store my current layouts because this layout that I'm about to do is going to be the companion to my Bayswater beach layout. This is what we did after we went to the beach. And so I'm going to put these two side by side. So I just wanted to show you guys the other layout. Um, they're not going to be too matchy matchy, but I'm going to have some of the same elements. Um, I'm going to use this uh, crepe paper on trend background paper of the uh, wash, whitewashed um, wood planks. I'm going to use some of that I Heart Summer newsprint, I Heart Summer cut aparts, um, some of that Ellie Studio uh, vellum chevrons. All of those elements were in the other layout. So I was just showing you a moment ago there how I store my current layouts in the in a um, Becky Higgins box for page protectors. People ask me where what I do with my layouts, so I thought I would just show that. So here I am, I just trimmed up some of those papers to um, the sizes that I want them. I'm following the sketch fairly closely as I build my layout, although I want this piece of Heidi Swap uh, serendipity paper from the kit to kind of touch all four of the quadrants, so that's going to be a background layer. And then I also decided to use this waffle paper as, a, as another background layer. So once I can get it figured out where I want that to go, I will just kind of place it down with my ATG. And now I'm not sure how this waffle take, this waffle paper will take um, mist and inks. So I'm just doing a couple of samples here, and I'm going to go off screen for a second and dry it with my heat gun and then I'm going to come back and show you how it looks. So that's how it looks when it's dried and I'm happy with that look. So I am uh, going to mist all of the, the waffle paper with Gold Lame uh, Color Shine by Heidi Swap. So now I'm just heating, heat setting it so that it won't make a mess on everything. And I did get quite a bit of that gold lame all over the background paper too, and that's okay. I'm happy with that look. It gives it a nice shimmer. So now I'm just putting together my grid and I'm following the sketch fairly closely. I have rotated the sketch 90 degrees, um, but other than that, I'm sticking to the sketch a little bit for now. Once uh, I get a bit further along, I'll be um, deviating from it a little bit. So I'm using that uh, L Studio Chevron vellum for the uh, for the flag on that cell, and now I'm just going to cut apart some of these I Heart Summer uh, cut apart cards, and they came in the uh, everything from this uh, layout is from the Rock Lobster kit from Scraptastic, and I want to layer something else here. I just don't know what, so. I'm going to end up deciding to do a bingo card. I'm going to take the one that says sunshine or summer, summer. And I'm kind of experimenting with how I want to layer that so that you can see the word summer. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to use some some of the anchors, but I'm going to wait a little bit to use those. First, I uh, cut out that stamp today and all of the stamps I'm using on this layout are from the Rock Lobster stamp set that came with the kit and uh, pretty much everything on this layout is from the is from the Rock Lobster kit. I think one thing, just the, the clip I'm going to use later on is from my own stash. So now I'm going to go ahead and stamp those anchors. And I'm stamping them on a piece of paper that came in the kit. It's by the Simple Stories I Heart Summer and it's just a really pretty green paper. It's kind of a wood grain but once you cut it out you can't really tell that it's a wood grain but it just provides a nice green outline around my items. So now I'm going to be fussy, fussy cutting quite a lot here and so I thought I'd give you a couple of tips. First thing is um, to keep your scissors straight and move your paper. So you'll notice that that is, you know, for the most part. Oh, sorry, I'm out of. <laughs> I zoomed in to try to be helpful, and now I'm out of frame. But um, so I am keeping my scissors in 
pretty much straight the whole time and I'm moving my paper around. Uh, the other thing that you can do if you find that your hands are really shaky is you can tuck your elbow into your body and, and that can stabilize your arm. The other thing that I do is as I'm cutting sometimes I'll just cut around something like see how I'm just ignoring those edges of the round part at the top of the anchor. I'm going to go back and trim that out later and here I am doing that now. So that can make it a little bit easier to to trim out your, your uh, stamps if you're cutting them out. So I forgot to zoom out here, but what I'm doing is I'm looking in my large collection of clips for a clip that I can put on there that's going to uh, look like it's clipping all of those three pieces together. And I ended up going with this uh, one from Stampin' Up. It's a green clip. It's very, very old. <laughs> Um, and now I'm going to put this brad. There was a brad that came in the I Heart Summer collection that came in the kit and it had a sun on it. So I thought that was perfect for putting over the um, sun that came on that kit. Now I'm trying to think about what I'm going to put in that bottom left hand corner which is where my journaling and my title will be going. So I found these L Studio frames in with the kit embellishments and I think I'm going to use it sideways because this the it just fits a little bit better that way and now at this point I realized I haven't glued anything down yet so I have to stop designing and go back and glue some of this stuff down before I get too far so I didn't want to forget what I was doing so I'm just kind of peeling some parts back gluing it down and then putting stuff back I did take a picture in case I needed it, but I ended up not really needing it. So those little labels or banners up there that say right here in Insta Summer and then one is blank are all from L Studio. They came in the kit. And then I also have that I Heart Summer die cut down on the right hand corner in the bottom. And that also came in the kit as pretty much everything except for that clip came in the kit. These are the thickers that came in the Out on the Town add-on. Um, so these, I guess, would be an example of something that's not in the kit. But, um, you know, if you splurged this month and got both kits, which I really wanted to do, I ended up getting Rock Lobster main kit and add-on, and I also splurged and got the the Out on the Town add-on. And so what I'm doing right here is I'm just adding the beginning part of my title, which says Post Beach. Um, so the title is Post Beach Seafood Feast and uh, I just used the Jenny Bolin uh, red skinny letter stickers that came in the Rock Lobster kit and uh, I want to line that Instagram frame from Ellie Studio with a piece of I wanted something light and that would give me some guides for writing some journaling so I just took that Maggie Holmes paper that came in the in the Rock Lobster kit and uh, it has a brick wall on it and it has some nice horizontal lines there for me to do my writing. I just chose a piece of that paper that was more white than red because I didn't want to introduce another color at this point. So I'm doing my journaling there and you'll get to see that at the end. I don't have it in front of me or I would write it, I would read it to you. And I kept it kind of over to the sides because I thought my title might uh, spread over into that frame. Turns out it's not going to as much as I thought. And then that I just wrote on that uh, empty flag there that uh, I think it, I wrote that Livy was too tired for photos because she's got a very sad face there. One more Ellie's Studio cut apart tag here to put on and this one says something about Maya's fish and chips being a good place to go. Oh yes, it's always it's worth the wait. They cook the fish fresh there so it does take quite a while before your food is ready and it's also quite popular. So now I'm going to mist this uh, I Heart Summer die cut that came in the kit with Heidi Swap mist and I'm going to dry it and then I'm going to put one more layer on just to make it really shimmery and golden. And now I'm going to take, this is a Stampin' Up! marker, It's the color is called Real Red, and I'm just going to color in the heart 
of this die cut just to give it a little bit. It's going to give it a little bit of definition because I found that otherwise I think that the I Heart Summer would have just blended right in with the background because the wood background is so similar to the gold colored mist that I didn't want it to get lost. So the heart kind of brings your eye over there to remind you to take in that little die cut piece. I'm sewing the flags on or banners or whatever they're called and I'm using my gold thread to do that. I'm going to go back to my sewing machine at the very very end but for now that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to place these thickers And these thickers, I will warn you if you haven't used them yet, they came in the Out on the Town kit and they are really adhered to the backing sheet that they come on. And uh, I can see it being very easy to tear these thickers. I know thickers have a bad rep for um, not being sticky enough, so it could be that they're trying to make them stickier as at their customer's request um, but these foam ones are really really sticky and uh, if you're used to them just peeling off easily you very well might tear the foam letters so that's just a little warning for you. I uh, took this other cut apart card just one of those three by four cards that I cut out before from the I Heart Summer collection and I cut the heart out and the sentiment and made the sentiment into a banner and now I'm going to layer some of these Ellie's Studio vellum chevrons underneath of that part and make another little embellishment cluster. I am going to um, just poke a hole and put another one of those I Heart Summer brads just for a little bit of interest and I'm going to put my adhesive where the heart will go so it will be covered up. Putting some little foam bits under the two ends of that banner so that the banner will kind of be going up on the ends. Now I'm going to show you the close-ups but I'm not quite done yet. So these banners are sewn down and it seemed like you know there wasn't there wasn't enough sewing on this layout so I'm going to go back in a minute. <laughs> Look at Olivia's face. <laughs> she was not happy. She cheered up soon after I put my camera away though. Um, yeah. So there, see the, the I Heart Summer really does blend in. I could have tucked a little something under behind there to make it pop out a little bit more, but I just, sometimes I like to add something really subtle to my layout uh, that you kind of have to look for. And uh, it gives you, you know, those people who take their time and look through a layout in great detail, it gives you something else to see. Um, here's where I'm going to add some thread right there where my thumb is. So I put it back on fast forward, took off the heart, and I'm going to do some back and forth stitching. I had to re-thread my needle for some reason. So I replaced that heart and now I'll give you another look at it. That's how the stitching turned out. And I really love the difference that that Heidi Swap mist makes on the background. It's not very, it doesn't take away from the from the layout, but it just adds a little bit of shimmer and uh, makes that paper blend in a little bit better with the background, the waffle paper. And so here I decided that I would pull up the edges on these little word strips. And now you get to see a glimpse of just how slow I really scrap. <laughs> this is more like the real speed. <laughs> Anyways, in a second here I'm going to show you the close-ups of that now that I've pulled up the edges. And then you'll get to see some pictures at the very end. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and leave me a comment if you've got any questions or anything to say. Take care and have a great scrappy week. Mm -hmm.